During the dedication worship service at the administration block, lecture block and two dormitories, there was entertainment from pupils, students, church choirs, Korean missionaries, pastors, among others. Over 15 South Korean missionaries attended the dedication service at the university. Five pupils, including a student, were awarded educational scholarships by the Global Village Mission for Christ in South Korea. The founding vice chancellor, Professor Lee Sang Chiol Otim, said he and his wife, Asyanat, were the ones who initiated the establishment of Amina East African University in Teso. Professor Lee Sang Chiol says 1.5 billion Uganda shillings were spent for the construction of Amina East African University. He noted that the funds were donated by the Global Village Mission for Christ in South Korea. Professor Lee stated that they have also established two nursery and primary schools, Amina Nursery and Primary School and Soroti Open Nursery and Primary School, and three churches in Soroti. He added that in both Teso and Karamajong, they have established 20 churches. Professor Lee also highlighted some of the challenges the university was facing, adding that they intend to introduce engineering and nursing courses. We have many challenges, but okay, most uh, challenges on the road uh, from highway to our university. When I started construction five years ago, this area is the only garden. But now this area much ground became ground area. The prayers were led by Reverend Kim Du Pyong, who preached about blessings. The resident city commissioner Soroti City, Peter Pex Park, who represented Honorable Francis Musa Etrero, the state minister for works and transport, thanked the founding body for establishing a university in Soroti district. In order to cure some of these problems some was facing, especially the problem of illiteracy, government of Uganda decided to cause educational review commission, to institute educational review commission. There were a number of discoveries and recommendations. One of the findings was that there was lack of human resources in this country because there are few education institutions in this country. I would like to encourage you to get engaged in government programs. The programs aimed at social economic transformation. Programs aimed at taking away poverty from our household. We have the parish government model. You must not apply and get that money so that you do some business make some money and be able to pay for your child. Park explained that the program of the university is within the policy of the government. This university is going to come with a lot of benefits, not only to the people of Teso, but to our country, also to the East African community. Yesterday, when the minister called me, he said he's aware that the university has a challenge of access from the main road. So he told me to inform you, you can ensure there is power brought here, right water is brought here, specifically for the road. He has told me to inform you that immediately he finishes the cabinet meeting. He will find time to come to Soroti. He will pick a grader from within Soroti. He will put a fuel himself. He will pick me from my office and come and stand here as the grader is bringing the road. George Ongenge, the councillor representing Opoya Ward in Soroti City East, appealed to the Koreans to give sponsorship to the children within the community. He urged the community to join hands and support the development within the university. For this opportunity to have a university and my humble appeal to the leadership of the university is that as a world that is hosting a new university uh, all our children also should be given an opportunity to get scholarships uh, the population of Opio also will get opportunity for employment and is my humble prayer that my community also overwhelmingly supports the university that Opio world has gotten that opportunity this is the second university to be established by the Koreans in Teso. The first university, Kumi University, was established in Kumi District in 1999 by South Korean missionary couples. This is Church of Uganda Family TV.